Hello, this is Riku 558, and uh, as the title say, I got another package, and it's from Hobby Link Japan. <coughs> as you can see, um, I ordered it, actually I paid for it on the 25th, uh, without using the hints, and it got here within four days, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, didn't know Hobby Link Japan did that incredibly fast shipping, but oh well. Let's see, uh, let's get this guy open. Mm-hmm. As for my next kinda hint towards what this is, I've been waiting for this guy for months. <coughs> Want to be released for months. Oh, that's convenient. It's on the bottom side. <sighs> Alright. So, let's just get this thing out of the way. There we go. Ah. And yes, here it is. The Real Grade 124-44 Saku 2 Shark Custom. And man, am I happy to see this guy. Ever since I got the uh, real great Gundam, which I'll just pull down really quickly. Ever since I got this guy, I've been <coughs> dying to get the uh, real great Zaku too. Because I wanted to see if they improved anything on, on the already great mobile suit or uh, MS design thing. <coughs> hmm. You guess. Okay, so get rid of this packaging here. So I actually pre-ordered it from uh, Hyperlink Japan sometime in August. So I was just simply waiting for this guy. And my waiting paid off. I just killed the real grade. Okay, Gundam goes here. So this will also be the unboxing since the um, I got a package part it only took two minutes. So let me adjust the camera. Let's take a look. So, the box art is really nice. So let me adjust my light. So yeah, it has a nice picture of the uh, Zaku 2. And that's really funny, I just realized. The text right here, if you can see it, it says Achtung, which is German. Um, I don't know. There's, there's German in here, but whatever. <laughs> That's cool. Um. Also, by the way, Octon means, uh, attention. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, here we have some text about the real grade. Saying how it aims to be the real thing. And, of course, it's real grade, excitement, and body. Here on the side of the box, we got the Zaku again, some text. Got the uh, advanced MS joint inner frame, showing how you take it out. The uh, pipes and the clear stickers that you can apply here and there on the kit. And then there's an unpainted Sharazaku right there with the uh, little mini figure or the figure. Uh, basically, the front of the box again. Here we got uh, action poses, and you can see my reflection kind of. And you can see that you can go on a 144 scale action base. It retails for 2,500 yen, which I'm pretty sure it translates to like 37 dollars because the economy is going downhill. But oh well. And then, like the real grade, um, it has a nice glossy black box on the bottom. So nice. So we get into the box. Oh, is it? No, it's not. Just a tight fit. There you go. Actually, uh, on the inside of the bottom, we have a picture of the high grade Zaku, the SD Zaku, Gunpla, the uh, master grade Zaku, maybe 2.0? Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Yeah. And then the perfect grade Zaku, all Shark Custom. And. 
starting out with the contents. We got the clear stickers, which there's quite a lot. We've got some uh, metallic colored stickers here. Actually, a lot of them. Um, and then the pink eye camera sticker. Here we have uh, the A plate with clear parts, uh, dark red, like a wine kind of red, uh, normal red here for seems to be the backpack. And then um, a real grade pink, kind of. Let me see. Yeah, it's, this is the more like the real grade pink. Um, that lighter red that you see on real grade Gundam. Pretty cool. Here we got the Char pinkish color here. And it's for the outer armor mostly. And we got some uh, nice molding here. Good good panel lines too. It's pretty nice. Here we have a uh, normal gray for weapons. See the uh, feet here, the bazooka, ammo clip for the machine gun. And then here we got a, it seems to be a brownish gray for the inner frame and such. And it's nice how the uh, shield has some inner workings too. Okay, and then next we have the advanced MS joints right here, which is the B plate. We've got some arms, legs, hands, feet, and the torso, and the waist. Also, there's a uh, piping here, it's pretty nice. Next, we have more of that pink. And then on the opposite side, we have inner frame, or the, uh, Filling of the inner frame. Looks really nice. Um, you see uh, some pretty nice detail here. Can't wait to build this guy. Got some uh, really small parts, like most real grades, and these are probably going to the feet. Um, let's see. Here we have, oh, here it is. Um, the F1 plate, which is the Shield, shoulder spikes, parts of the head, um, and the cables. And the gates look ridiculously small like the SDs, so they should be really easy to pop out. And it also comes with two springs for um, the legs, the en leg energy cable, so it doesn't pop out as easily. I found that uh, it works really well because they used it in the Sinanju, and uh, the Cables on the connecting the skirt armors from the Sinanju work really well, so the spring idea is a really good idea. <coughs> and then in here we have a little pamphlet with the real grades, and it shows that uh, huh, it shows that you can pose it in all sorts of ways, and there are good and bad ways to pose these mobile suits. Um, I'm probably gonna be posing it. One of, something like that, because it's cool looking. It's funny how the bad poses really do look ridiculous. <laughs> it's funny. But anyways, um, here we got some pictures showing that you can use already existing high grades to pose. Um, I think this is mentioned in Robert's deboxing video. And then here's the high grade, perfect grade, and master grade stuff about the Gundam and the quality and all that. So let's go into the manual. Actually there's a little questionnaire here and I can't use it because I don't read Japanese. I can't. Um, I'll just put it back on the box. Finally, here's the manual. Okay, got a nice picture from the cover and yep. On the inside, we got a nice color page of the real grade Zaku. How it looks. I think it's CG or something. Yeah, CG. Uh, realistic decals. The MS joint. Action poses you can pull off, like uh, the KK pulls off. Reaching down and the uh, shoulder tackle. And then there's a little sharp figure you can paint. I might actually attempt to do it. Here it shows how to do assembly and uh, stuff about the advanced MS joints to get ready for it and how to apply the monoline stickers since it's small.
And then here we have a um, how to identify which part is which, like in the real grade ARC 78-2. And then parts list, so it goes from A to G2. And you have some very detailed instructions here, just like the real grades, uh, first real grade. And I believe I heard from um, Robert Wayne, yeah. Robert Wayne, before I should mention this, um, the big O2 on the cover of the manual shows up here. It's pretty cool. Anyways, nice instructions. And then we got a not color splash page of mechanical details on the real grade, uh, on the Zaku. It's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of a like, super detailed manga. Um, shows weapons and all that. Just continuing the instructions. And I really like how they show you the part, and then they show you how where the uh, advanced MS joints are, like inside of the arm once it's complete. It's pretty cool. And the nice use of the red actually helps identify important parts, especially for uh, beginner uh, gunpla builders. So, uh, usual master grade esque instructions. Can just continuing on. And then finally, after you build all the weapons and such, they show you how to attach it to the action base. And there's the marking guide. And it looks pretty nice. And there's lots of stickers, and you can see the uh, one point advice for panel lining ahead. We can just clear that up right there. There we go. And then there's uh, the marking sealed and uh, let's see that focus except embodied all right so that's it for this unboxing slash I got package um I still I'm actually going behind on uh, reviews because I'm getting so many Gundams um so I'm gonna get the review of the Rizel first and then the double Zeta and then the real grand Zaka too so Look forward to reviews in that order, and I'm still uh, open to requests after I put up a list on my profile when I remember to. And that's about it, and I'll see you guys next time.